Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a foundation routine video for you guys. Um, doing my face is one of my favorite parts of my makeup. It's just really fun just to sort of get your face looking really flawless. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that today. Um, this is the drawer where, or little case where I sort of keep all my um, face stuff in, if you can see. I'm not totally happy with my makeup organization right now. If you've seen my, my room tour video, then you know that I'm not completely happy with it. I'm going to be sort of fixing it up and really organizing it to my liking. I just recently purchased the Muji 5 drawer acrylic um, case. And I'm super excited to get that because it's something I've been really wanting for a while. I just didn't want to spend the money on it. I think it's like $27 and then plus shipping. Shipping was $22 just because I live in Canada. So altogether it was $50. To me that's a bit pricey. And so I did look around and see if any other stores like Amazon or any other place online had drawers that I also liked that were cheaper but really it wasn't worth it because when I did find one they were like $39.99 or they just weren't as good of quality or they weren't as practical as the Muji drawers so I just totally gave in and went ahead and bought the Muji drawers and I also found a 24 space lipstick holder on solutions-store.ca it's a Canadian store so I don't think anyone in the US would be able to get it because they only ship to Canada right now but yeah, so I found a 24 space lipstick holder for $4.99 on sale. I was so excited. And with shipping and everything, it did come up to $15. Now I know some of you are probably thinking like that totally defeats the purpose of getting it on sale for $4.99. But not really because there's no way that I would be able to get a 24 lipstick holder for $15 here in Canada or even online because then the shipping would make it $20 or $30. So really I did save about $5 to $10. So I'm really excited about me um, upgrading my organization. Now I'm sort of just rambling but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my foundation routine. Now, I like a really flawless foundation routine just because I do have a lot of redness. You can't see it right now just because I did use coconut oil to moisturize last night and I find that that really leaves my face um really like it tones my face out really well. But I do have really naturally rosy red cheeks as you guys have seen many times in my videos. So I'm just going to get sort of up close here and... The first thing I already did was moisturize my face with my Simple Hydrating Light Moisturizer. Now the second thing that I've o Now the second thing that I've always been using for the past like 2 weeks now is my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. I find that this makes my foundation go on sort of like it's airbrushed, like it really leaves it looking really flawless and it also helps the staying powder. It also helps the staying powder, so I'm just going to put that all over my face. So you can sort of see a little bit of redness around my nose. I usually have more around this area and I have some over here. Like I said, you can't see it too much right now. The foundation I'm going to be using is my favorite, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And this is my absolute favorite. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. I sort of use like three and a half pumps around my face. And then I'm going to go ahead with my favorite foundation brush lately. This is my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. This is honestly an amazing brush. It really gives you a really airbrushed even finish. So I'm going to go ahead and buff that into my skin. Now guys, with this um, Sigma brush, I find that you get much more of an even and airbrushed um, flawless finish when you buff it. I find that when you sort of just do it like this it um it doesn't really give too much of a even finish Now I always like to run it down my neck just because we want to even out the skin tone. So as you guys can see, this MAC foundation does give a really great coverage. I like to make it even fuller of a coverage though just because that's personally my taste. I'm going to go ahead with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Going ahead with my Equal Tools Powder Brush, I'm just going to put a little bit of product and just sort of really buff it around my face in circular motions.
Also, when I put concealer on, it's going to really go down my cheeks and it's really going to help that redness around that area. So that's another reason why I really love to put a lot of concealer because it really does conceal all of this area, which is where I have most of my redness. So I'm going to take the MAC um, powder and just run it down my neck just because I want to blend all these colors together. We want our face to match our body completely. And don't forget right at that jawline. A lot of the times it's easy to forget to do the jawline and underneath. But don't forget to just sweep a little bit of powder underneath there. So I'm going to be using my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer. <clears throat> this is in NC15. And sorry guys, my foundation is in NW15. I don't think I mentioned that. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use one entire full pump. And I'm just going to put it all over under my eye and drag it down a bit just to like I said again conceal that redness in that cheek I honestly think I'm like a concealer junkie a lot of people complain about um, the full pump being too much because it's hard to just do half of a pump with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer but for me sometimes I find one pump isn't enough so I'm gonna go ahead with my um, Beauty Blender dupe this is by Revive Beauty Pro and I don't dampen this just because with this dupe I don't find that when I dampen it makes a difference sorry about it being dirty right now it gets dirty pretty quickly um, but yeah, I don't find that it makes a difference. I really do like how this blends out though, but it is sort of hard to buff it in, but it's fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm also going to be lightly buffing it. Like I don't want to blend this out too much because the thing with concealer is when you do blend it out, it sort of dries into the color of your skin after. And I really do want that whiteness under my eye. I'm obviously going to blend it out, but I really do want that bright whiteness. So I'm not going to blend it out too much. That is enough. I'll be topping it with powder after so it won't be like too crazy. This also works as my highlight. A lot of the times I just use my uh, concealer in a really light color to highlight. I'm going to take my Ramel London Stay Matte Powder and use that as a setting powder for my concealer. But I'm also going to be using it just to sort of blend around it. Also, this will help make it a little bit brighter because this is a really light shade. This is in the shade Silky Beige. I'm going to go ahead with one of my favorite highlights. This is Wet n Wild Color Icon. And this is in the color Reserve My Cabana. So I'm going to take just a stipple brush. This is from Spa Resource. I'm just going to take this and really work it into where I had my concealer. Just right on my upper cheekbones. Now I'm also going to take it again and just run it down my nose, across my forehead, and on my chin. So next I'm just going to be contouring a tiny bit. I want to keep it really simple today so I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild color icon in um, Bikini Contest. You guys are probably sick of seeing this product. I use it literally all the time. It's super pigmented so I'm just going to be using the very tip of this brush and just only putting a tiny bit of product on, squeezing the brush together. I'm going to run it across starting at my temple, going straight down very lightly. Now a lot of people do the fishy face when doing this, which I think is really great, but for me I have really high natural cheekbones so I can sort of already even see my contour, like sometimes I'm not even wearing contour and you can sort of see that shadow because I do have pretty, um, pretty good noticeable cheekbones. So after making that drastic contour, I'm going to go ahead and pinch it and just sort of blend it out by going like this. doing the same to the other side now I'm gonna go ahead and run it along my jawline and just up over here around my temple area
I'm also just going to go ahead and do my brows quickly because no face is complete without a really defined brow. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and fast forward through this part. So here you go, this is the finished face. I really love this foundation routine because it really makes my face look sort of one tone, like it doesn't, it really covers all that redness and that's something that's really important to me because I hate my rosy cheeks. After this, I'm going to be filming a beauty on a budget video on some trios that I have for you guys and I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on it. So I'm going to be doing that right after this and it'll probably be uploaded by the time you guys see this, it'll be uploaded probably a day or two after. So um, I'll go ahead and link that down below when it is uploaded. I really hope that I showed you guys some tips in this video and some pr uh, products that you guys can try out for your foundation routine. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.